Welcome to the Beach RN, Education for Registered and Student Nurses. We're looking at a new hexavalent vaccine on the NIP from July 1, 2023, Vaxalis. What is a hexavalent vaccine? Well, it's a vaccine that provides protection against six diseases, diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, pololia, hip, Haemophilus influenza B, and hepatitis B. Now, the benefits of a hexavalent vaccine, there's the economic benefits, but it's also opportunistic vaccination. You're covering six diseases in one needle. So we're getting individual protection sooner, ideally herd protection sooner. There's less needles. There's a happier child and a happier parent. Now, the benefits of Vexalis, it's completely pre-filled as a syringe. There's no mixing with Hib like we currently do with Infranex Hexa. It's ready to go. It's time efficient. Has a four-year shelf life at two to eight degrees. Infranex Hexa has a three-year shelf life at that temperature. In terms of administering Vaxalis, give it two months from six weeks, four months and six months as currently Infranex Hexa. But a booster is required at 18 months, but we're using Infranex or Tripacil and Act Hib. There was some discussion around Vaxalis at that age, but it's not going ahead. Now, with respect to the Hib component of Vaxalis, it's conjugated to and meningitis outer membrane protein complex. Infranex Hexa is conjugated to tetoxoid. Now, Vaxalis induces earlier Hib response in the first six months and is sustained until the toddler dose. However, after the toddler dose, a high protective level was not sustained with Vaxalis. Clinically, what does this mean? Probably not much. Since Hib disease, the burden is higher in younger children, 4 to 18 months, and especially First Nations infants. Vaxalis has a better immune response in those younger months. Now, with respect to Hep B and Vaxalis, at one month post-dose 2, the anti-hepatitis B surface antigen was lower in the Vaxalis group compared to Infranex Hexa. Now, the clinical significance of this was unclear according to the TGA clinical evaluators. Why? Well, look at these graphs here. Um, there's two cohorts. Um, children receive Vaxalis at 2, 4, 11, or 12 months, or 2, 4, and 12 months. Depends whether the European or USA schedule. Now, they were then checked at 4 and 5 years old for their teachers to Hep B, and then at 8 to 9. Now, we can see on the graph on the left, um, just under 66% of children had a hepatitis B surface antigen above or equal to 10. By the time they were nine, it dropped down to just under 41%. They were then given a booster dose, and we can see that the teeters came up to 100% for the cohort on the left and 99.1% on the right. So that's showing us there is memory. Now, with respect to pertussis, pertussis, Slightly lower antigen levels compared to Infranex Hexa. The three pertussis antigens are shared, but Vaxalis has two additional antigens, Fimbria types 2 and 3. The European studies show that Vaxalis is not inferior to Infranex Hexa, so it's fine. And the pre-PBAC response considered that Vaxalis may provide additional clinical utility against the disease which remains one of Australia's most challenging vaccine-preventable diseases, that is pertussis. Now, Administering other vaccines with Vaxalis can definitely give Prevna 13 and Rotorix. Um, not very um, relevant at the moment, but you can also give um, Priorix, uh, varicella vaccines, and Priorix Tetra and Men's C conjugate vaccines. We are still awaiting clarification whether we can give Vaxalis um, uh, with um, influenza, Nimerex, and Bexero. And do not mix Vaxalis and Infranex Hexa for the primary doses. Uh, start with one and finish with one. And look, the final word from Vaxalis was from the Immunisation Foundation of Australia. I, I love their quote, and I think it sums up the utility. Pre-filled syringes help make the vaccination process quicker for children, potentially reducing anxiety. And that the earlier and more robust immune response for HIV with Vaxalis is likely to be beneficial to the health of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children, given that they are at a higher risk of contracting HIV disease. Treatment suggestions presented here are just that suggestions. Always consult the most up-to-date NIP and your facility's clinical practice guidelines and ask if you don't know. This has been a vaccine update by the Beach RN from the beautiful Morning Peninsula in Australia.